Guys, we're looking at a 1975, 1957, I'm sorry, Pontiac. This thing is a beautiful, beautiful car. And look at all that chrome down there, man. The big chrome bumpers, chrome grill, chrome around the lights, chrome over the lights. Beautiful white and burgundy two-tone. This is a Star Chief. Beautiful 1957 Star Chief, and it is sharp. Look how clean it is. How radiant the light shines off the paint. With that burgundy going right down the stripes. Burgundy stripe going right down the middle. And you got a lot of chrome on this thing, man. When Pontiac built it, they put the chrome on here. Look at the back end of it. Says from the license plate, it was an Iowa car. You see a speck of rust there. A speck of rust on the other side. We'll check it out. But look at these tail, tail lights. Nice size trunk. Going over the top. It's pretty solid. Solid hood. Seems like you get the same rust spot in the same area right there. That's probably due to constant, constant water if you're in the rain, being collected right there, or condensation, you know. But I'm pretty sure that's fixable. As I say before, with today's technology, you can fix and do anything to a car. what I can see on the inside. That back bench is looking really nice. So is the front split. Going up to the, the steering wheel. Would like to open this one up, but no, I'm not going to. Specific reasons. <laughs> Let's go take a look at the information. When you got a car this old, this clean, has been restored. And as the sign says, rare you want to leave it alone unless you got the owner right there with you, you go open up the doors on the manager yep so 57 star chief yeah this thing is nice two owners hmm nicely restored nicely slick paint there you go nice chrome oh yeah redone interior radio with a 347 v8 Power steering, power brakes, no air. <laughs> you guys see the price? Give them a call at Country Classic Cars. Mm -hmm.